as students head back to class, there is one group of young people educators say are at a greater risk academically. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with the special attention being focused on students entering the ninth grade. The transition from middle school to high school is considered to be a critical time. Students often experience a drop in grades and there are more behavior problems. A summer program called CHIPS is addressing those programs, addressing those problems head on. If you, you shoot for 3.8, we will call it great. In a few days, these students will be on a high school campus. They are all ninth graders about to start their freshman year. Transition is real. And so we want to get them ready to step on that campus the first day and say, I know what I'm doing. That move from middle school to high school is a critical time. The Fresno County Superintendent of Schools and Fresno Unified are working with a group of students from the class of 2022 to make sure they cross the finish line. That first year is the most important. I think that makes or breaks a child's career. The CHIPS program, which stands for character, honor, integrity, perseverance, and service, is equipping young students with the tools to succeed in school and life. I want to be successful. I don't want to be the kid who had potential but never achieved it. 14-year-old Akil Brown was among the group of 50 students participating in this week-long program that was heavy on academics. 5x over 15. Although research shows that many of these students struggle with math and English, educators say that doesn't mean students should shy away from science and technology. Create Estimate the test. A group of young African-American entrepreneurs who mentor students in science, technology, engineering, and math show students that they too can excel in science. The STEAM program that we're doing, the robotics, I really like that. The focus here was not just on academics. There was a huge discussion on character, integrity, honor, how these young people want the public to see them. The minute you walk in a classroom, a teacher is going to assess you one way or the other. Students of color are more likely to be suspended or expelled from their school. Angie Barfield, with the office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, says misconceptions and personalities impact those numbers, and students can help change how people react to them. Many students say they know they fight against a label. If you're just to see me walking around, you wouldn't think I'm vice president, a 3.5 student. You wouldn't expect that out of me. So when people do profile me, label me, I tell them what I actually do, and I tell them in a polite way. I don't, I don't get mad. The CHIPS program is only a week long, but Barfield says its impact can be far-reaching. The more we do to empower the student, the better the relationship and the better the climate on a school campus we're going to see in Fresno County. Now, the CHIPS program is a partnership between the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, Fresno Unified, and Fresno State. And I just remember when I was that age, moving into high school. Remember I how scary too. that was? So oh, terrifying. I, it was scary, terrifying. Exciting. And not only that, you're kind of like 13. It is you're just, just 13. <laughs> yeah, the, that's, a, that's enough. The <laughs> seniors looked like grown men and women. Yeah, you just felt so out of place. You look, they're all children now when you look at all yeah, of them. But right. It is a tough program. time. It is. Yeah. Juanita, thanks. Appreciate Juanita, that. Juanita, thank you so much.